Tucker Kelly here from Minister Farms, and today I'm giving you a tour of my duck and goose house, winter edition. In the summertime, they're going to be out in the pasture and chicken tractors moving on fresh grass. But this time of year, they're in here. Come summer, this will be a real greenhouse with pumpkins in it. Me and my dad made this greenhouse last year when we were in quarantine. It was fun. We ended up making it 10 feet by 20 feet using pipes from an old fallen down carport garage. I'll start by showing you what we did on the outside. Since this is a house for geese, it's important we cover up the plastic so they don't eat it. Because geese like to eat plastic and tarp. So I put this mesh here to keep the geese from eating it. Is what I'm going to do this summer when I have the ducks and geese out of here and I'm growing plants. I'm going to move the plastic up, roll it up somewhere like here, and then this mesh will keep the chipmunks and anything else that would want to eat the vegetables out. So it's great for keeping the geese from eating the plastic and keeping critters from eating the garden. So one other thing I did that's pretty important outside for the, as far as the run goes is I have a five foot high welded wire fence all the way around it that's plenty safe for uh, keeping out bobcats. They can jump up to four feet high, so I really wanted to have a five foot high fence. It's welded wire, it's really strong, and it's on uh, the trees most of the way around. And then uh, tea stakes out here where there weren't enough trees. Also, as you can see, if I pan over this way, most of it is wooded. That's really good for the winter. It keeps the uh, snow off them, gives them some protection so they don't have to be in a house all the time. And it's just nicer. One other thing that's pretty convenient is to have an extra little house like this. You can see right now I've got the honky conks in there. Just like a quarantine house. So last year when I got Priscilla and Ordway over there, I got them later in the year. I kept them in here for a couple weeks and put a dividing fence in their run. They got used to each other and they really didn't fight all that much when I introduced them. Just a good idea to think about having. And it also works as brooder space too for bigger birds. As I mentioned, I'm using the little house for the honky tonks. The three bigger ones there, they're all hens. Honey, Money, and Bunny. And then the little one, he's Matthew. He's a little gander. Matthew's about 10 days younger. He's about 20 days. The rest are about 30 days. They're already starting to get their feathers. So maybe I can introduce them to everyone else in a couple weeks. Some of the important things we did out here we put boards on here to keep the plastic from blowing around too much and ripping. We secured it to the metal really well. We've got about three feet of metal to keep predators from getting in. And we also secured the corners really well because we don't want anything getting in here. I'm going to start doing night chores now. As you saw in my last video, it was morning chores. I used like 30 gallons for a uh, just filled their pool in the morning. But at night time, I only need about 10 gallons, maybe even seven and a half to fill up the little bucket. Well, I'm gonna do that now. Buckets with lids, they spill a lot less. I have a grate here. It's really good. It keeps it from making a mess. And I just dump it out right through there. I learned this from Morgan Gold Watch's YouTube channel, Gold Farm. Really great. Just need to dump the water out and rinse those dirty things out. Then you can cook. Water. Use your water, geese. More water. which is way better than the ones that don't have the handles. Some of the other things I did on the interior that I really like other than the water 
is I have a light over here. It's on a timer. Gives them 15 hours of daylight all year. And in the winter, I was getting five eggs a day from seven female ducks, which is really good. Now I'm getting seven eggs almost every day. So definitely use the light if you want more eggs for ducks, chickens, and geese. I also put a grate up there. It did a really good job keeping the air fresh. I left it open all winter. If we were gonna get a cold snap, I probably would have shut it, but we didn't. So it worked fine. Also, for their nest boxes, is I just put them under the ramp because the ramp needed to go up out of here anyway since I have the metal. That worked well. Also, everywhere the geese could reach, I put some kind of chicken wire or mesh or something to keep them from chewing on the plastic. Same as outside. For the bedding, for the ducks and geese, I really like to use either straw or leaves. Ow. Well, the hands are still a bit aggressive. I like to use straw or leaves. Straw's ideal, but uh, leaves are fine if you use a lot. And they're cheap. I also like to have the fence go right up next to the ramp here, making a corner between the fence and the house, with the ramp going right up there. It makes it way easier to get them in at night. For the duck's food, I like to keep it in trash cans in the pen. It makes it way easier to feed them at night. I just give them normal chick chicken uh, layer pellet. This is blue seal. We give it to them from all brands. If I can find some sunflower seeds at an affordable price or some bird seed that's got nothing bad in it, I'll feed them that too. The important thing for ducks and geese though is just make sure you're feeding them nothing that has like uh, medication like antibiotics or anything like that. Uh, I will also give them house scraps every now and then. Or in the winter time, I will mix in brewer's yeast to get them to lay more, and it works. My flock of nine ducks and five geese, I give them about four quarts of grain a day. If I had sunflower seeds to give them as well, I would give them two and a half quarts of each. They really like their food. And I also give them unlimited house scraps. Just make sure you Google what you're feeding them isn't poisonous first. And definitely don't feed them potato peels. That's poisonous. I learned it the hard way. I also use two feeders. It just kind of helps spread out the food so they aren't all feeding at one and fighting over it. When I give them sunflower seeds, I put it in the other feeder. That way they don't pick out their favorite. One other thing, I can't overemphasize the importance of double checking everything. Making sure there's no holes in your animals' houses, counting them, and making sure the doors are locked is just good practice and it'll save you some dead birds. Which is really pretty important. <laughs> Thank you.